Hey everybody, Coach Brew here. We are doing our uh, pumpkin spice review here at, um, let's take a walk around here, Krispy Kreme. There's a Krispy Kreme here in Auburn, Maine. And uh, I'm gonna walk you over here just so you can see what we're looking at. We've got, uh, this is what they call the hot donut experience. I'm gonna lead with the business lesson today and then we'll go into the food review. Uh, I think it's something people crave now more than ever. Uh, you can call it a quote millennial thing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, this generation today values experiences every bit, if not more than they value things. Say hello. Um, so the hot donut experience is something that started uh, back when they founded the company. Like I, I think it was like 1937, but that's what they hung their hat on. They became known for as a hot donut serve fresh right away. And um, again, you know, like cult following in the Southeast, it's kind of the Dunkin' Donuts of the Southeast. And they've branched out. Uh, I think we've got like a donut turf war going on here. Do you like my hat, by the way? I think it's a good look for me. Anyway, um, really pretty cool concept. And they know who they are. And they know they're not trying to be anything other than who they are. I've got the uh, Krispy Kreme pumpkin spice latte. I want to read this sign to you. It says, um, we crave experiences that bring more joy to our lives. Serving joy since 1937. Yeah, I was right, 1937. And uh, look at the joy on their faces there. The hot donut experience. That almost sounds, it almost sounds erotic. But uh, we're gonna try the hot donut experience with one of these pumpkin spice donuts. You know, I think uh, there are two kinds of people in this world. Uh, the kind who um, like Dunkin' Donuts and the kind who like Krispy Kreme Donuts. I personally tend to lean more towards being a Dunkin' Donuts kind of person, but that's a good donut that I just tried here. This is a, a very good donut. It's... Um, we classify as like a cake, cake donut. It's very different than like a traditional glazed donut like you get up here in the Northeast. You either love it or you hate it. Uh, these donut wars between these companies is kind of polarizing. Some people are Krispy Kreme fans, some people are Dunkin' fans. It's that simple and there's probably no in between unless you are uh, like my youngest daughter and you are simply a donut aficionado of all things donuts, kind of like I am a pumpkin spice aficionado so uh, I give the donut you know like a, a 6.8 a scale of 0 to 10 simply because it's a good donut it's just not a Dunkin Donut which is my favorite um, the hot donut experience personally it, it's not something that matters to me it might matter to other people it doesn't matter to me a cold donut is just fine if it's a good donut so it doesn't matter to me now we're gonna try the uh, Krispy Kreme pumpkin spice latte. It tastes like a latte. There's like no pumpkin to it. What it is, is it's, it's a pumpkin spice latte with a layer of whipped cream on top. And then on top of that, there's like a pumpkin pie spice sprinkled on top can't taste it so you know it's again this isn't a criticism of Krispy Kreme it's not a coffee shop they're, they're not trying to be Starbucks they sell donuts but what pairs well with a donut coffee so they're gonna serve coffee they're just not coffee experts look at her does she look like a coffee expert she looks more like uh, she looks like a nurse she looks like a nurse making coffee not look like a barista or a coffee expert it's, it's you know like it's an average latte like it'd be an, it, I don't know like a four or 4.5 on a good day but you don't taste pumpkin so it, it's it's not what they say it is the donut tastes like pumpkin uh, the um, the cup of coffee not so much 
you know. Uh, they do a couple of cool things here though. They have a rewards program. Your first donut's always free when you opt in. Uh, another great lesson, you know, some people call it like a uh, ethical bribe. Uh, other people call it like a tripwire in business. Digital marketers love to call it a tripwire. Um, but they offer you something for free in return for email address. Krispy Kreme does that, they do it well. Uh, and there are certain benchmarks and rewards that you can get uh, through their rewards program. Another cool thing they do is fundraising. Um, you, know, you can do uh, schools, teams can uh, sell, they can buy a, a box of a dozen donuts for five bucks, turn around and sell them for 10. Uh, they have a uh, kind of a scoreboard over on the corner over here. Um, let's see if I can show it to you. I'm just gonna walk you over here and show it to you. Where uh, different schools have, you know, made a lot of money so yeah right here so you got one school that's made uh, a music program PTO has made 3200 bucks um, another music booster has made 2200 bucks easy money who doesn't love donuts you know so Krispy Kreme's found unique angles uh, to uh, deliver their product um, they're experimenting with something in Greensboro, North Carolina, near the corporate parks there, um, where they had a delivery service, and they would deliver boxes, cases of donuts in bulk to different businesses. Uh, out in California, they did something really neat in 2010, where they had roadside, um, instead of like having a drive-up window, they actually had people roadside who had traffic lights, uh, had digital payment processing. Now this is back, this is earlier than 2010, like 2003, I believe. A digital payment processing roadside, and they would literally like hand you a box of donuts through your window or your sunroof. Um, and you know, they didn't see an adequate return on investment, so they eliminated it. But they're treating everything they do like an experiment to see what works uh, without really deviating outside of their lane and their core identity. Um, the pumpkin spice thing, probably a little bit of a deviation, but they are known for donuts and uh, they have multiple channels to create distribution. And uh, they're like one of the two signature donut companies in America because they know who they are, uh, even though she looks like a nurse serving coffee. Um, so that's a review and that's the lesson. Know who you are, stick to your core competency and you develop, you know, uh, raving fans. People travel from, you know, throughout the country to visit the original. Think about this with your brand. You know, this is how you know you're well-branded. Uh, your original location is a tourist destination. People travel from throughout the country to go to the original Krispy Kreme in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, where there is a, um, a landmark on the ground outside of the store commemorating the fact that it's the original location and people stand in line and wait outside I know because I was one of them I did it when I lived in North Carolina they'll stand in line and wait outside uh, to get a donut from the original location so think about that like that's dedication that's uh, having raving fans super fans if you will um, how are you doing that with your business uh, with your core competency so that's it that's the review of the Krispy Kreme pumpkin spice latte and donut and your business lesson compliments of the Dunkin' Donuts Krispy Kreme Donut Wars. Have a good one. If you want more information uh, on me, Coach Brew, go to coachbrew.com. You can opt into the Daily Brew, not to be confused with this Daily Brew. The Daily Brew is my daily newsletter where I offer you a business tip to double your sales, double your productivity, uh, leadership performance. And when you do that, you go to coachbrew.com, coachbru.com and do that. You uh, also will receive a complimentary download of my premium uh, membership site monthly newsletter, which is a $49 value. So head on over to coachbrew.com. Uh, the link is in the comments. And we'll see you after this next review tomorrow.